and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, and today's topic is Journey to Mars. So, Mars is a red planet. It's a fascinating planet. We as humans on planet Earth have looked up into the night sky and saw that little red dot and thought, what would it be like on that planet? We've been sending probes, we've been sending rovers, exploratory vehicles and flybys and orbiting space technology there for a long, long, many, many decades and hope to eventually send humankind to step foot on the surface of Mars. Now, I wanted to give a book and movie recommendation that sort of goes over what it would be like to live and work on planet Mars. That book happens to be The Martian by Andy Weir which explores the astronaut life of Mark Watney, an astrobotanist. A botanist is a person that studies plants and how they grow and how they function. And his team on the Ares 3 mission on the surface of Mars, where they encounter a, a freak storm on the surface and then Mark Watney, the astronaut, is left on the surface to live and work and fend for his life. Uh, great book great movie, but also note, parental advisory, there are strong language pieces in the book, so parents, if you're watching, uh, make sure you sort of watch with your children or just watch and see how it goes from there. But I wanted to sort of do an experiment as Mark Watney would do an experiment, being on the surface of Mars. So he had in storage the type of fresh form of potato that they had brought with them on their space mission. But did you know you can grow your own potatoes in your own home with a process called hydroponics, which means you do not need soil to do so. You can do it by water alone. Now, as a scientist, as a botanist, you can explore the potato. You can explore and look and you note, take a look, there's some growth happening on these potatoes and those are called the eye of the potato and that is an extra little spot of growth where you can take and cut and grow a brand new potato plant all by that little growth piece just like mark watney did in the movie the martian where he cut these into pieces planted them and made his own sort of greenhouse on the surface of mars and protected them and grew them and ate his own potatoes from the surface of Mars. So you can do that as a home astronaut, but first we're gonna need the following supplies. First, a potato, a cutting board, a knife, and with a knife, make sure you have parents helping you with this experiment, because it is a sharp tool for the kitchen. Toothpicks, three or four toothpicks. A mug, I happen to have my favorite mug here, my Space Camp mug, or any science -y mug will do. For the video, I'm going to use the clear one so we can see how the potato is placed inside. First, you need to find the biggest eye on your potato, that one happens to be this one here, and take your knife on your cutting board and sort of cut where that eye is. And you'll notice on the inside of the potato you have the, the meat of the potato. And this is when you take your toothpicks and we're going to insert them into the sides of the toothpick. Be very careful when you do this. Just on the sides of the toothpick so it looks like it's got two arms and two legs. Make sure it sticks and stays. Insert all of those around your potato. There we go. And notice I have my potato sort of like it's skydiving. And you set this into your mug or glass container. If by setting it on top of the glass container you need to again adjust the placement of your toothpicks, you can do that now so it angles a little bit more into the glass. You can do that now, but not so much 
that it falls into the glass. And depending on your glass container, there you go, you can adjust as needed. And notice it sits into the glass slightly. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to take water and fill your glass. You can pour it over the potato if you want to until it just touches the bottom of your potato. Now, the mug that I'm using is rather tall, so I would recommend using a more shallower dish so you're not having that much water in your mug. But over the few days, you'll notice the water will evaporate. So as the water evaporates, you'll need to add a little bit more a splash as it evaporates so that bottom of that potato is constantly kept moist. Now the moisture is important because that is what plants need to grow and survive, just like humans need water to nourish our bodies. So does a plant. Now, this is considered a hydroponic growth because it is growing in the medium, which is water. Now, water cannot grow plants alone. It will need some sort of fertilizer if you're doing this long term. But for this short term experiment, we're just going to stick with standard tap water. And what you'll need to do is set it on a windowsill or set it anywhere where it gets filtered light in your home. And over the next few days, continue to add your water and observe your potato growth. Observe what this eye of that potato or the other eyes in your section of potato happen to be doing. Uh, focus on their growth. Create a journal. Scientists create journals so that they can keep all of their data in line. You could test how much it's grown in a day, how much it's grown in a week, how much it's grown in a month. Keep this on your windowsill and see what happens. With each day that passes, take some scientific data down. And you too, like Mark Watney on the surface of Mars, can be an astrobotanist too. You don't have to use just a potato. So you can use other root-like vegetables, carrots or an onion like I have in my hand. But with the onion, I don't have to cut any of the pieces like I did off the potato. I can stick this directly into a glass with a little bit of water. So the same with the potato. This onion, you can already see, has some roots starting to come out. And sometimes if you leave your onions in the pantry for too long, they already start to stick out a green shoot. If you happen to find any of your onions doing that, that's the best one to select for this. So I have found a glass that tapers upward. So find a glass that fits your size bulb onion that you find out of your pantry and set it down into your glass until you notice that the roots just touch the water. You may have to adjust your water, pouring it out a little bit each day. But as you can see, I have it touching the water level. You can set this by a window or again, we're an area in your home where you have filtered light coming through a window. And also be sure to change the water on the inside every other day. Otherwise you'll be possibly growing some mold in the bottom and that wouldn't help the plants to grow healthy. So try it out. See what other kind of root vegetables you can find in your refrigerator. Uh, see what you can grow and uh, post below your growth and your experiment results. Take care and remember, science never stops.